So this is the EcoVac X2 Omni, and this is in the new generation of RoboVacuums because now not only is your RoboVacuum important, but the clean base, the station is as important because the station can do a lot of new things. Not only can your unit mop, well, your station can clean your unit. It can clean the mop pad. It can send it out again, dry your mop pad using hot steam and hot water, and it just makes everything faster and cleaner. So the big difference between the EcoVac X2 Omni and some of its competition in terms of the premium top of the class robo vacuums is mainly that this can do hot air. So not only is it more powerful, but it's 8,000 Pascal powerful, which for a lot of people might be like, okay, the Roborock is 6,000 and that one's 7,000, where the EcoVac is really making its biggest jump is that as a mop, it is a much better mop than before. And that's because it has the shape of the iRobot S9. It has the functionality of the T20 Omni from EcoVac while having the suction power of a Roborock S8 and having a front-facing camera like you would get on a DreamTech L20S. So let's take it out of the box. Let's see what's inside. And let's see if this EcoVac X2 Omni is gonna be the best RoboVacuum right now. And now let's take a closer look at the actual station itself and setting it up. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to attach this, which is gonna be the tray. They have grip pads here so that the wheels can find traction as it rolls up inside of the clean station. So this is very straightforward. It just attaches, just clip it in, nothing special there. So if you look inside the clean base, you can see how much more complicated it is than a standard clean station. Because this is a clean station from iRobot. And this is that clean station from the EcoVac. And let's just go through the key features here. It has a 131 Fahrenheit hot water mop washing, which means it's gonna take these mop pads and wash them at 131 Fahrenheit, which is just like washing your laundry on hot. It does a better job than if you wash it on cold. In turn, make sure that your mop not only works better, but also dries faster. It also has different components here. And if I wanna detach everything, I'll show you how. So I just wanna pop this out and then you can clean this separately. This, this alone is worth it because before you had to clean everything inside of here and then you would have to get like a towel and sponge it all up. Now that you have the detachable base that you can just take this and then pour out the solution after you clean it and then return it back and then install it, that makes life so much easier. You can see that if you wanna pop it out, there's your bag, there's your filter. There's a little hole there that's gonna be for the air filter. You have your instructions about how to use the button, place the station, maintenance. Dirty water tank, large. Clean water tank, large. You can always add solution to your clean water tank if you want to. In terms of how high this can lift itself, let's take a look. So we're gonna place the EcoVac X2 Omni on the floor. And there we go. So we unlocked one and one is set. So that is the limit of how high it can pull itself. So not a lot, but that, just being able to put your finger in there, plus. In terms of overall suction power, your D-Bot X2 Omni is gonna utilize 8,000 Pascal of suction. So you can remove the mop plates and that's what it looks like. You can see the rise there of these. Some of the best features for the auto mopping lifting is that if you have auto lifting, it prevents backwash. It also auto lifts when it's encountering a carpet during mopping. It can auto lift when it's on vacuum only so that you don't have to necessarily move the mop plates. So on the DreamTech, it will automatically remove the mop pads. On the EcoVac, it cannot. However, because it uses the hot water, it does do a better job cleaning and drying your mop pads than other units. So the EcoVac is able to handle up to a medium pill carpet. It just has a more difficult time once we get to a high pill because that is not that tall, but is taller than its competitor. But also having improved suction power means it can improve the battery life because it doesn't need to use 8,000 Pascal suction. That's only when it's on the max boost mode. On a regular mode, it's probably only using close to about 3,000, maybe 4,000. The brush roll, is wide and we're going to just do a side by side comparison and you can see side by side 
that the iRobot brush roll is still bigger than the Ecovac D-Bots brush roll. This is about a 7.87 or 7.9 inch brush roll. And remember the J9 and the J7 are using about a seven inch brush roll. So it is bigger at least than the J7 and the J9. Some of the best features for your Ecovac are gonna be the intelligence. So this is coming with something called Ecovac's Animode. So this has a 3D 2.0 dynamic obstacle avoidance detection system. So it will initiate a cleaning task. It will set up cleaning from point A to B. It will set up the task itself and during the navigation process, you can introduce a new obstacle along the way and it can demonstrate obstacle avoidance. So what that basically means is that your Ecovac is making decisions in real time and then making the adjustments so that it's gonna avoid obstacles in real time. Ecovac also has included a semi-solid state LiDAR module. This is relatively new. Most LiDARs were not semi-solid state, but now this is gonna be even more effective at detecting how your home is set up. The Ecovac D-Bot X2 Omni has about two hours of battery life on standard mode. And if you put it on silent mode, you're gonna get close to about three hours. But let's also talk about some of the drawbacks. It is not gonna be great if you have a lot of coarse particles on the ground and if you have a lot of high pill carpets. And that's just related to the limitations of any robo vacuum that has mopping, even the most powerful and the most advanced. The mop limitations are, it's gonna struggle with sticky substances. And for dried stains, you might need to make repeated passes or you might have to go back and clean it yourself. It's because even though the machine can see the stain, it is not gonna detect if that stain is completely eliminated because regardless of how advanced these systems are, it's not the same as human eyes. You do have to maintain the water tank and clean it regularly, so there is maintenance involved. It's not gonna take as long as if, if you were using a regular mop or doing it yourself, but you remember, you don't want any odors, make sure to clean that. I like how the finishes are now because it's matte, it's not glossy, and that having no gloss on it means it's gonna do a very good job staying clean and keeping clean, and it's just an easy to use solution for your home. If you wanna hear what it sounds like on different various, this is on the quiet, this is on standard. We're gonna put it on that's on strong. You can see how loud strong is. And that, this is gonna be on max.
So the Ecovac will definitely have a little bit of a fan sound as it dries and it does last for about one to two hours or three hours depending on how long you want it to dry for with the hot air. So if you are like, okay, I don't want to hear that too much, I would advise you to just either turn off the hot air drying or make it the shortest time possible. Because if you only use it once a day, if you have it on one hour, two hours, three hours, it's not really going to make a difference. It'll be dry the next day regardless. Start charging. So we've been using so we've been using our Ecovac Dbot X2. So we've been using our Dbot X2. Now we want to try it with a self-clean session. So all we need to do is just so we have the button here. So we have the button on the clean base. Now if I short press it, continue cleaning. It's gonna continue cleaning. So it's gonna start and send it out. Stop. Now, I want to show you how the pad looks after we hot water washed it. So if you touch the pad, it is warm. This is definitely warm and it's already pretty dry. And that's the secret of hot water washing. They're drier, they're cleaner, and that's what they look like. Now, if you look inside of the bin, you can see how it looks after a mopping session. Now, let's see how dirty our area is here. So that's what it looks like after one session. There's a little bit of water inside, as you can see. And that's why the tray is so important because you can throw out that water. Start charging. Okay, so now we're going to run the we're going to run the self-clean mode. So we're going to run the self-clean mode on our Ecovac Dbot X2. Long press the button on the station. Using the water inside of this clean water tank is just flushing all the water out through its pipes. And you'll see the results up top better. So water is being sucked out of your clean water tank into your dirty water tank. Keep it closed, let it keep going. So this is at 3D map and it's not the most accurate, but it's relatively accurate. There's no table in front of my X20 is actually behind it over here. So that's a little bit off, but over time it does get better and better. If you want it to be super clean, you can add deep scrubbing or do one or two X passes. So deep scrubbing is effective if you want to get the best mopping, but it does add a considerable amount of time. So I'm not going to do any deep scrubbing. You can also have the Dbot just do a specific area by creating a zone. So we have just created a zone and we're going to hit the start button. It's going to vacuum while mopping. It is currently washing 
the pads and I'll show you how well the floor is going to be cleaned after it finished washing the pads. So let me describe the Ecovax app to you in the best way possible. So it's going to be very similar to some of the other apps you see. It has LiDAR. It does a good job mapping. Now you can see that it, you're going to be able to see in real time what your Ecovac is doing. You also can use the front facing camera, somewhat like a security device where you can see where it's going and what it's looking at. Now, the difference between the DBot app and other apps is that because you have mopping and because the station itself is so much more complicated you have a lot more functionality so you can turn off the hot air mopping you can turn off the hot water cleaning you can turn off you know if you don't want it to blow the fan on for three hours you can adjust all these settings so here you go you have this whole whole house cleaning interface here you can see your duration your water flow levels you can adjust it for auto empty frequency you can adjust the station settings mop pad cleaning intervals so a lot of this is based on your personal preferences so if you don't want to hear your station because when it's drying you're going to hear it and you don't want it to constantly be emptying its bin because you're saying well it's not really sucking up that much because I use it so frequently, then you could have it do it every other session. So there's a lot more customization than before. And I think that's one of the biggest improvements of the X2 versus even the T20 Omni, because you just didn't get it this far. It didn't come with these features. And the best thing about the self-emptying station is that it can clean itself. So combine that with the Kind of like this simple interface, it does have a slight learning curve because you have to look around, right? You have to look around. And especially when it comes to the mapping, it's not going to do the same job in terms of, I guess, because it has that 3D, it, it senses a room, but it doesn't sense it. It senses it differently from like iRobot and RoboRock. So I don't know if the accuracy is as good as those in terms of how it senses out the room, but in terms of like obstacle detection, and you know where you don't want it to go you don't notice a difference it's just the layout of the area is different and i tried this on multiple floors and i noticed this um, as well so overall what's the easiest way to describe this app experience i think if you like to have something that's more interactive you want something that's just a little bit more dynamic in terms of how much you can customize and you can even control where you want it to go, when you want it to go. And if you only want it to do specific areas, you can even set that area. You just have to go inside of the app. So make sure to take a look at the app, make sure to try it out. There's things that I had to really look for to find here, but those are the features that made this, you know, like kind of the X2 better for me. So check it out here in terms of the app. So that's our review of the Ecovac DBot X2 Omni. I like it. It's cool. It's the future. And remember, the future is not just in the actual unit that vacuums and mops. It's also inside of the clean station. And this is the perfect example of that. The clean station is better. It is improved. It makes the mopping work better. Everything works faster because of it. And there's less odors. So they're solving a lot of the primary issues and concerns we had before. So congrats to Ecovac on a solid offering and we'll catch you next time. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box below and please hit that like and subscribe button because it really does help support our channel and I'll catch you next time. This is Dave with the French Clothes signing off. Bye, bye, bye.